Welcome to the Account Solution Excel Training Series. This is the first series we are running. This series we are born out of the need to educate our template users and subscribers on some basic Excel tips that will enable them to use our templates better and also to appreciate the dynamics of Excel. If you are new to our channel, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also visit the website on the screen and subscribe and be among the first to get our new templates, articles and video tutorials. You can visit our free template screen and grab any Excel template that suits your business and work needs. You can follow along with this video series by downloading the Word Data file on the link provided on the screen. Enjoy the training series and ensure that you get all the parts of this video tutorials. So you receive these data sets um, as we said before and we're able to organize them in, in this format to help us sort them um, carefully. So like I did explain earlier, um, you have different ways to sort this data set. The first one is to highlight the headers and come back and click on filter. You now check, click on any of these um, headers and filter based on what you want to see. We also discussed um, using the Excel table where you highlight all data in the set, data set. You go to format as table and you choose every table. Okay, we have this. Now, the question is, how do I convert this data into a more useful report? Let's say you receive data from different regions, you can copy them and you just place into the database and it gives you um, your report in different forms. It will come in the customer report. We have all the customers for the month of January. We have the product group, bread, cake, chin chin, pies, sausages and the grand total. You can select from these slicers and to view only the product group, bread. You will see only bread from January down to the last month, um, which is um, September. You can see for all the customers from that particular um, um, group. You can also choose to look at um, the Dream Choice bread alone from the product group bread. This is all for Dream, Dream Choice bread. You can choose. Every family loaf, millet milk bread is your facet for that product. Okay, uncheck the filter. Now I want to see only for pies. We have for pies. Okay, so this for is based on product group. You see your customer report based on product group. Now we also have customer reports based on um, the regions. Have North Central, North East, North West, South, South, South East, and South West. You can filter them. I want to see bread. This is bread for all the different regions. I want to see short kick bread. This is short kick bread for all the different regions from January down to September. I have your total for short kick bread down here. You can also um, check your report customer report based on the product items come to this side to your right hand side there are the customers and these are all the different products in the group you can see all of them down to queen cake and the grand total you can also filter them i want to see only um, the products brand cupcake you can see brand cupcake for um, january to december to september for the various customers so you can also look at this sales report from the point of view of the sales reps the same thing we have our sales rep here and we have our product groups if you go further we have our sales rep here also we have our regions if you go to the last table we have our sales rep here we have the different product items on the group you can just filter them with this slicer. I want to see cake. It's a 
what um, the sales rep did um, for the period for cake. Okay, and on that cake, I can come forward and say chocolate cupcake. You can see what how how much of this product is sold in these um, different modes. Now I also have a dashboard that shows you in um, charts and um, picture chart of what happened in different regions. So I have my timeline here. I have my region, I have my sales web, I have my product group. This test chart um, just shows you your product group and how they are doing in the different months. We have the um, legends for all the months. Here it shows you the different regions and how the different groups are doing. And the pie chart shows you just the different region and how much of the pie they are taking from the market uh, share. So if you click on North Central, you see the pie went just blue for North Central. You're seeing all the products. This is for bread, this is for cake, this is for changing, for pies, for sausages, for North Central. For this um, chart up here, are seeing the product groups and the different moons presented here. I can um, unfilter this and to see um, only for the second quarter, which is April, June, and May. You are seeing this um, chart for only the um, third, second quarter. Now I want to also filter based on month. Come to this um, tab here and select the one you want to. You want to use months now. Okay, I vote for August. You are seeing only the products um, sold in the month of August will appear on all your charts on this particular dashboard. So. The point is how do you convert this your data you know, to achieve all these various reports that have been listed here. And if you don't want if you don't want them to go through the stress of converting your data to this, you can get this um, free template from our website on the account solutions and just um, get to this database. Copy your um, data from whatever software you're using or from the excel sheet you have them and just paste them in this order serial number date sales rep invoice number customer you can change this region to locations you can change it to cities as you want to as your system is um, carrying them product name group or category you know or classifications quantity price total and month this is very important you can ignore this one, just paste between serial number and down to month. Make sure your data set is in that order. Now you can also ignore the moon because the formula is there already. Just put paste your data set from serial number to total and the rest will populate for you. Now once you've done that, just come back here. And refresh your pivot table. Come here, and refresh your pivot table on your dashboard, and refresh your pivot table. Okay. So let's assume we don't have any data in this place. So when you get this free template from our website, database will look like this empty. All you need to do is to copy your data set and paste right inside here because this database is empty your customer reports will all be empty they're all blank nothing is there sales web reports they're all blank nothing is there your dashboard is blank nothing is there this is how you get the template when you download it from our website what you need to do is just arrange your data to um, meet these criteria of the header serial number, date, sales rep, invoice number, customer, region, or city, or location, or country, product name, group, quantities, sold, price, and total. Once you've done that, just copy them and paste. All I need to do is to go to where my raw data is. Just copy everything I have here and I just paste on my database.
Once I've done that, I'll come back to my customer report and I'll just right click on the table here and refresh. And boom, you see everything from your data set will give you the report. This is how simple this template is. Everything you need appears on your dashboard. You can just get hold of this template and um, make it useful to you. But if you don't want to use this template, you want to set up your own template um, to, to get your report at the end of every month or quarter or year, then just follow me in these next tutorials. I'll be showing you how to use a table which you've converted from your data set into a table, how to convert this into different reports. We hope this video tutorial was useful to you. Thank you for staying with us. Ensure that you get this next part of this tutorial to continue with this series. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel to enable you be among the best to get our new videos once they are published. Also visit our website and grab the data file to enable you follow along as we go through this training series. Thank you so much and have a nice day.